Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Photoshop rendering. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to teach you how to do a section rendering in Photoshop. So for this I have selected one section of a building in PDF format and I have done this section in AutoCAD file. So this is the section which I have used in PDF format and if you are working in Revit architecture and ArchiCAD or any other software so you can save it as a PDF or JPG format and then you can import it this file into Photoshop. So I have saved this file in PDF so I am going to open this in Photoshop so I am going to right click this and I am going to select open with Adobe Photoshop. So this is the page that will be open in Photoshop. You are required to directly select OK. And this is our section of a building. And now I am going to rename this layer 1 as a section. And after this we are required to create a background. So I am going to create a new layer and I am going to rename this as a background. You are required to select white color here and I am going to select background here and I am going to use pan bucket tool and for this shortcut command is G. So you are required to type G command in your keyboard and after this you can drag this background down to section and we are ready to work on our presentation. So I am going to use alt scroll and you can zoom your image here with the help of alt and mouse scroll so first we are required to draw a section line here this line is very thin here this is the level of road so i'm going to draw a thick line here and to this here so show your ground level so i'm going to select line here and tool and select line tool here and you can select a black color and you can do some setting here and you can go to this setting of line and you can use thickness as a 3 pixel here and color you can select black and arrowheads you can uncheck this start and end so that there should be no any arrow here so I am going to draw a line here And you can see this is our thick line so it should be visible in section and I am going to draw another line here so I am going to expand this and I am going to move this level of this section here And after this, I am going to create a ground texture here below in Photoshop. So you can search on Google like ground grunge texture here. And you can go to images and you can select any of the grays and white color of grunge. So I have downloaded one grunge here, something like this and you can save this and so it will save a lot of time. So now I have downloaded one image here and this one and now I am going to open this with Photoshop here. And after the opening in Photoshop, you are required to go to edit and you are required to select this one define pattern. So this image will be saved in Photoshop. After this, you can close this. And now I am going to use this 
rectangular marquee tool and I am going to select this rectangular marquee tool and you, you are required to do this selection as a subtract from selection or you can select this one add to selection so you are required to select this one add to selection so if you select uh, subtract from selection it will be subtracted so I am going to use this one add to this selection and now I am going to draw my ground texture here and now I am going to press alt here and I am going to draw another rectangular marquee tool here and you are required to select add to this selection here so I have added the help of add to the selection and similarly I am going to repeat this here also and I am going to quickly repeat here going to press shift here and I'm going to quickly draw here also and I'm going to draw another here so you should keep practicing to draw this with the help of add to this selection and with the use of shift key on your keyboard so now I'm going to fill any color here gray color and I'm going to create a layer here and I'm going to rename this as a ground grunge so I'm going to press G command and I'm going to use this gray color and after this you can press D, D here control D and now I'm going to right click on this layer and I'm going to blending option and now I'm going to select this one pattern overlay and you can see we are into ground grunge layer and you can see this is the layer and after this you can scale this I'm going to use scale here And you can see this is the scale which is looking good here and you can also play with the opacity here so I am going to use full opacity and you can also play with this uh, pattern blend mode so I am going to darken this and you can also use multiply so you can use any of this normal multiply as per your image I'm going to select OK and after this I am going to insert a tree here and before this I am going to render my section so I am going to uh, render this uh, slabs and beam with the black color so I am going to use my uh, this building so for this I'm going to select this section here and I'm going to use magic vent tool here and I'm going to select this section and beam and you can press shift here you can start selecting
So likewise, you can select this uh, beams and slabs and I'm going to create a layer for this and I'm going to rename this as a slabs and I'm going to select a black color here and I'm going to press pen pocket tool with the help of G command on keyboard and you can press ctrl D and this is the section of slabs in black color and you can choose any other color but it looks good and I am going to also fill this uh, this detail with black color and you can leave this also you can fill different colors but I am going to fill this also with the black color so this is for use of presentation drawing so no problem So likewise you can uh, render this so I am going to use some light color for the walls also and you can leave this as a white so I am going to select section again and I am going to use magic wand tool and I am going to select all the walls here And I'm going to select any color for this and I'm going to rename this as the interior wall and I'm going to select any light color here and I'm going to press G command here Control D so you can hatch these doors also if you want or you can leave like this also again use this interior wall here and I am going to use magic wand tool by se selecting my building and you can hatch remaining area also and I am going to press G command So likewise you can select all the area and now I am going to put some uh, trees here so it will look more presentable so I am going to drag this tree and I am going to put this tree this is a PNG file you can download it from Google and you can resize as per the height of the building and suppose I want this uh, tree to go behind of this building so for this uh, I am I'm going to adjust with the opacity of this tree so that our building should be vibrant and dominant so I want this tree to be little light and now I am going to delete this portion, remaining portion. I am going to cut this from the building. And for this, I am going to create a portion of the part which is required to cut from this building. 
with the help of rectangular marquee tool and after this you can press delete and it's saying could not complete your request because the smart object is not directly editable so we cannot edit this png and to edit this png object you are required to right click on the object which is tree here and now i'm going to select this one rasterize layer and now things would work so i'm going to press delete and you can see this portion is cut from our building so likewise you can use for other objects also and i'm going to put another tree here and it should be on the ground level so i'm going to put one tree here and adjust the scale and it should be in front of the building and now i'm going to copy this tree here some trees here so that I present it and now i am going to put one car here and for this uh, i have downloaded one side elevation of a car also you can download it from google there are a lot of free png files so i am going to i can drop this car and you can adjust this scale here So uh, this car is in opposite direction so I am going to right click on this scale and I am going to use flip horizontal so you can see this uh, direction of the car is changed and you can put anywhere so that it is looking like that is going to enter into the building and if you want to has this area also you can has this and now I am going to put one sky background here and so for this i uh, can download any sky background from google sky background photoshop and you can download any of the sky background and you can use any uh, gray color also or you can download a uh, blue color also and you can later on you can convert to some gray color here like this so I have downloaded here. So I am going to put this background into Photoshop. So I am going to drag and drop this in Photoshop here. And And I'm going to change the opacity. So I'm going to first drag this on the background area. And you can see this is our sky background. And then you can cut this background area from this building portion so I am going to use this rectangular marquee tool again and I am going to cut this from this building portion and I am going to press delete here I am going to select this sky background you can is same again the same message so I required to convert to rasterize layer so I'm going to right click my sky background and I'm going to convert to rasterize layer and now you can press delete and you can see this sky background is removed from our building and now it's looking more uh, dominant this building and you can convert this sky background to color so I'm going to my image here and I'm going to 
adjustment and use saturation here and you can use this lightness and I'm going to convert to some grays color here and you can play with the saturation here and hue so now you can put this into gray mode so that your building should look dominant and you can also adjust this ground texture here so I am going to use ground grunge and I am going to expand this to this side also control D so now this is the method of drawing section in Photoshop and you can present this with the presentation drawing and you can also draw some line to this side also thicker line and you can adjust the building and now I am going to image here and I am going to select this auto tone and you can see the, the image quality has improved further and you can use this in your photoshop presentation these techniques and you can develop your own techniques also so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session I will come with some more interesting topics in photoshop so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye